Hey, it's Robbie Krieger. And tonight we're gonna we're gonna learn how to play Moonlight Drive. Because you guys asked. Uh, we did a little survey on the Doors website. And uh, a lot of people wanted to check out uh, Moonlight Drive. So I'm gonna show you the guitar I used to record it. It's right here. That is a Gibson 1954 Les Paul Black Beauty. Kind of nice, huh? Thing is almost as old as me. Okay, so. All right, so we're gonna check out um, how I play this song, okay? I'm gonna set that up there, like that. Oops, okay. So first thing is, uh, you gotta tune the guitar correctly, which uh, is, uh, this is open G tuning. It's not that hard, you just, you take this, the top string, and go down a whole step and make that a D instead of an E. It's now a D. And then you do the same thing with this, with the low E. Make that a D. And uh, the A string is now a G. So you're going down two whole steps on one, two, and three. You leave the rest of them the same. So now it really works good for slide. So like if you wanted to play a, a blues, uh, you just go. If you wanted to play Moonlight Drive, you'd start right here on the third fret above the twelfth fret, which is uh, would normally be a G. So you go from here. Right there to the B flat position and then from the G position just go up uh, 12 frets up to the to the 12th fret rather uh, so that's really all I was doing I was just... and uh, and then when it goes to the five chord or so we're in G now, so that would be the D, which would go. And then back to the beginning. And then at that point it goes... moved up a whole step. <laughs> We're now in A. The rest of the song is in A. Okay. Um, so let's play along with the song on time so you can see what positions I'm playing. Ready? Starts off with the piano. Thank you. 
solo. Moonlight Drive, uh, you know, should have been a hit record, I think. I don't know why they never, I don't think they put it out as a single, but uh, they, uh, well, for one thing, it, it, it wasn't on the first album. It ended up being on the second album, even though it was really, I think it was almost the first song we recorded for the first album. But for some reason, it didn't, uh, it didn't really sound right or just wasn't as good as we thought it could be and um, so we decided to redo it for the second album and uh, I think that was a good uh, choice like if you hear you hear you can hear that first version like I said on on uh, the perception box set and it was kind of real laid back and kind of a lot of echo and it just wasn't real uh, exciting, you know. But um, the uh, the next version was a lot better. And for some reason, we put out the uh, People Are Strange as the single, which was a good song. But uh, Moonlight Drive never really uh, got its just rewards. All right, guys. Did I show you my, uh, did I show you my Les Paul guitar? Check this one out. Oh, shit. Well, there goes the 54. Son of a bitch. Here's this guitar. You notice the uh, paint job. It's original 1960. And they call that flame. Flame maple. Oops, it's upside down. Wait a minute. There it is. My friend uh, Al Jackson uh, was down at the guitar center and he was oogling over this guitar and he called me and said, hey man, you should come down here. They've got a 60 sunburst. And uh, it turned out my friends uh, Dave Belzer and Drew Berlin had, uh, had let the uh, guitar center sell this guitar for them. And uh, I was lucky enough to uh, to have spotted it through my friend, and uh, I think I paid uh, eighty grand for it. That was like twenty years ago. It's worth a bit more now. All right. 
this up. There's the old SG. That is a uh, D'Angelico jazz guitar. And uh, next time I'll show you some of the other guitars. Here's a 59 jazz bass. All right, thanks guys, see you soon.